the journey is never ending there is always going to be growth improvement and adversity you just got to take it all in and do what's right continue to grow continue to live in the moment so for starting a new chapter of learning i am muskan kumari being your host for today's event want to extend a warm greeting and good afternoon to all of you present here i hope you all are doing amazing on behalf of the whole sims family i welcome you all for today's international webinar on the topic what gets measured gets improved and to add our guest of honor and today's speaker malaya damania it is a great honor to have you with us sir we are grateful for your presence also i see a quite number of people are joining us so before i proceed let me take a brief moment of for the introduction of our organization sims welfare foundation it is a non profit entity established to work in the areas of education social welfare women empowerment skill development and entrepreneurship livelihood generation and employability health research cultural international cooperation sports environment protection or any other similar sector we promote healthy lives a balanced and active community and strong businesses now let me introduce today's speakers to all of you mr malad mania is a chartered accountant and a business transformation coach firstly thank you muskan for giving a wonderful introduction and um, let me express my gratitude towards scms for giving me this opportunity to Uh, speak to the wonderful audience uh, i'm sure we'll have good time um, on this topic of what gets measured gets improved uh, let's dive straight away into the topic this topic is very close to my heart because i am a chartered accountant and i have been uh, you know uh, uh, been with the numbers for a long time in my life so friends let's begin with an imaginary story there was a cricket match which was organized between two of the most powerful and talented teams of the world india and pakistan this match was organized in kolkata eden garden you all know and uh, there was a lot of excitement built up the sta stadium was packed of people 80000 to 1 lakh people and um, lakhs and millions of people were watching this match they hooked on to the tv screen mobile screen uh, two captains rohit sharma and babar azam they both were walking towards the pitch for the toss excitement built up and everything was set for a iconic clash between india and pakistan cricket match while the match was about to begin there was a small announcement and what was the announcement that for this match we will not keep any scoreboard we will of course we will maintain the scores but we will not declare what the score is we will not display the scoreboard on the on the in the stadium and even the commentators are not allowed to say what the score is let the players play the match to the best of their ability and once the match is over at the end of the fifth day we will declare who is the winner this was the small announcement and uh, <clears throat> you know what happened in 30 minutes the stadium was empty people just left because they were not interested in watching a match without wherein the scores were not visible to them they were they did not know what the score was and um, all the people who were hooked on to the tv and mobile screen they all switched off their tv and they went off uh, of the screen nobody was interested in watching this match even though it was played between two of the most talented and iconic teams why what happened interesting right we all must have also played cricket a lot of you may be playing also now any game in fact for that matter and what happens when there is no scoreboard when we do not keep track of the score we just keep playing the game whether it is football badminton table tennis or cricket we don't really enjoy it right what happens in business very similar to this i have friends interacted with hundreds of business owners across my career of more than 30 years i have worked with starter startup entrepreneurs and um, many business leaders from small and medium segments and i have seen them working with a lot of passion initially they have lot of energy lot of enthusiasm and they approach their business with you know lot of passion and i really love interacting with these youngsters this you know, entrepreneurs because i love business owners who do approach their business with passion and this is absolutely fine but at the end of the day friends we got to understand that business is all about numbers 
you have to achieve certain numbers to be able to say that this is a successful business right so why numbers the numbers because we have to know that the greatest motivation factor for a human being is the progress and we got to track the progress we got to see the numbers of where am i heading in my in my business there are a lot of business entrepreneurs who you know come to me as a chartered accountant in my earlier years where they come to me after the year end when the year was over and they say okay these are the numbers let's look at the numbers and how i have fared now okay there is one way of looking at your business at the year end and see that you know how was the last year but can you do anything about the last year now obviously no the idea is to track and measure your numbers with reasonable regularity once you start tracking your numbers with reasonable regularity you can do something about it right now throughout the year of course you have got some vague idea about how the business is faring but if you don't have a specific system whereby you are able to track the numbers then probably you are missing a big a big strategy into your the whole business gamut so i would encourage everyone to measure the numbers of their business and measure them with reasonable regularity now why do we say that now let's say we we uh, you know we are ill and we go to the doctor what does the doctor first say get me the report i want to see the numbers of your blood pressure only once i see the numbers i'll be able to give you some medicine give you what needs to be done you know without knowing those parameters i will not be in a position to treat you well correct so when doctors also look at the numbers as a business owners it is very very imperative to look at the numbers what is the progress of our business now what are these numbers so let's say there are two kinds of numbers we are talking about the first one is the leading indicators now we most of us might know these leading indicators are the numbers that tell us something about where are we heading in our business you know what is the future going to look like am i going to do good business in the future or is my business going slowing down and leading indicators primarily come from our marketing and sales efforts our efforts whereby if you if you participate in an exhibition let's say and how many people attended to your stall how many people came there how many people registered there right now how many people you start contacting them and how many people are in the pipeline marketing and sales numbers will sort of give you what will be your sales in the future in the next month in the next quarter maybe in the next year so these are the numbers which will give you indications as to how will your business fare in the future in the coming months these are one set of numbers or the indicators that we must closely look at so that we can keep the resources and the support that may be required to close the deal to get the customers on board to get them to serve so as a business owner it is very very important and necessary for us to keep a very close look at the leading indicators the second set of numbers are the lagging indicators how did you fare in the past what were your sales what were your profits how because these are the numbers which will tell you how as a business how is a company you are faring how are you performing right so lagging indicators usually come from your finance department we say that the finance and accounts is the mirror of your business they show you where you in reality stand you, know, you may talk anything that you know my business is flourishing my business is doing fantastically well we are meeting lot of people and there is big traction we are seeing but end of the day what are your numbers showing what is the sale that you have achieved how many subscribers that you have what is the profit that you have been able to make and this is the numbers what your finance department or the accounts department will give so we say that the numbers speak for themselves you know when you i mean when you when you ask us your sales guy that you know okay so how was that exhibition as we were talking about the exhibition how was the exhibition and um, he starts to tell you a story that you know on that day there were 
uh, few people came because it was raining or it was very hot outside so not not too much of traction etc he will start telling the story so as a business owner your interest is more on all right i will listen to the story but first tell me how many people attended give me that number so that will give me an indication as to how was the my how was my performance in that exhibition so leading indicators lagging indicators very very important now in this financial indicators how do we keep track of our business we must know where our business is going because by getting this number we will be able to take certain decisions in our business right because business environment is very dynamic we have to as a business owner be very quick to see the change see the trend that is happening and we have to adapt to this uh, trend to the changes and keep taking decisions in our business correct so how will we take this decisions one way of taking decision is through my gut feelings intuitions i'll get some intuition and i will start uh, reacting to those intuitions but we all know that nowadays data is the new oil this is what we say you know stop going with your gut feeling your intuitions use the data because this data is now the new oil you will be able to use this data to take informed business decisions and this is extremely important and that's why we are saying about measuring the numbers okay a lot of people again say that you know is it really necessary do we really need to track the numbers with reasonable frequency reasonable regularity because i would i can make out what my business is so let me tell you this real life story there was a famous american swimmer florence chadwick you know she in 1952 she attempted to swim a 26 mile between the california coast and catalina island the distance was 26 mile and she made an attempt to swim that uh, distance so she started early morning and uh, she was of course there was a, a team in a rescue boat was accompanying her just to make sure that you know there are uh, she is saved from any sharks or if she needs any help or if there is any accidental uh, requirement the boat was there the team was there to help her and she started her swim right in the early morning 15 hours into her swim 15 hours you know by the time it was getting evening the sky was getting dark the clouds started to you know um, come down and uh, everything was getting very hazy she was like now getting tired and fatigue and she indicated to the rescue boat team that you know i mean enough now i won't be able to swim further still she continued for a while and then finally she gave up she quit while she was set while she sat in the rescue boat she realized that she was only 1 mile away from the catalina island just 1 mile away you know but she did not know you know that she was just 1 mile away she just felt that you know this is enough there is a lot of uh, <coughs> darkness setting in and she quit so let us come back to our measuring of the numbers let me friends tell you five key benefits that will help that that is that will you will be able to get when you start tracking your numbers when you start measuring your numbers with reasonable regularity right in your business so the first one is you will be able to assess your position you will be able to know the fact assess what is the fact where are you today let us say simplistically the financial year 23 24 which starts from 1st april 2023 and up to march 24 let us say you decide on a goal of 1 crore very simplistic example we are saying you decide on a goal of having a sales turnover of 1 crore right this is your goal now you started working on your business and we are sitting at the end of june 3 months down the line so you got to 3 months down the line you stop and say that all right what is the sale where have we reached how far you have reached in terms of your sales the accountant will tell you what is the sales number now friends if it is 3 months in the year if you are not at 25 lakhs 
then unless you are into some sort of seasonal business if you have not reached 25 lakhs there is all likelihood that you will not reach your 1 crore of target because you have already started falling behind so firstly assess your position how far you have reached and what is the gap if you have reached 20 lakhs then the now the gap is to be filled is 80 lakhs in the next 9 months and if you have reached 30 lakhs very good now only 70 lakhs has to be done in the next 9 months what is more important is to assess your position how far you have reached vis a vis your goals and what is the gap gap now in our earlier example if florence had known that she has out of 26 miles she has already covered 25 miles and it is just last mile which is remaining do you think that she would have quit most probably not most probably she would have continued got her willpower back in action and she would have continued for one more mile to make sure that she is able to reach the post to make sure that whatever she started attempting she is able to realize she is able to accomplish and achieve her goals but the problem was that she did not know her position at that point of time when she quit now friends we know that in our business uh, when you look at the large corporate companies the stock action listed companies in fact all the companies are supposed to have board meetings every three months and in the board meeting they are supposed to discuss the financials the listed companies are supposed to declare their quarterly results right because that's the requirement of SEBI so when there is a regular regulatory requirement we actually go, we do those things right now for small medium businessmen why can't we make it a requirement for our own self for our business that although it is not required by government but it is requirement for myself for me to assess the position of my business the financials of my business every quarter if this we are able to do it then probably we'll be able to know things in a much better manner we will know our business much better so that is something which I definitely encourage uh, uh, small business owners especially to make sure that assess your position with reasonable regularity throughout the year instead of waiting for the year end and uh, knowing what the numbers are where we are not able to do too many things at that point of time. Let's try and track our numbers throughout the year. The second benefit friends, when we assess our position, how does it help it? It helps us to take some action right if i know that i am lagging behind or i am you know lagging behind or i am going forward uh, i am going with the, I, what i am doing is right when i know something i can take some action and we say that stitch in time saves nine rather than waiting for the year end let me understand what my position is let me assess my situation and depending on the situation i will be able to take some strategic calls in my business. I will be able to do some planning in my business so that I'll be able to reach to my goals. So now let us say what is the profits? We can talk about when we say financial numbers, we can talk about the sales, we can talk about the profits, we can talk about the collection, which has a largely to do with our cash flows. So collection, what are my collections? Probably last year, my collection were 30 days. I was able to collect funds from my customers. But this three months, I'm seeing that it has become 40 days, for example. That means I'm getting weak in my collection. I need to strengthen my collection department. I need to put some planning in place so that we do some rigorous follow-up. We, uh, we may probably have one more resource dedicated for follow-up with the uh, customers whatever it may be but firstly once we know we can do something about it let's look at the inventory what is my inventory if i regularly look at my inventory and the composition of my inventory you know are there any inventory which are like you know slow moving which are getting outdated if i know during the year that these are the outdated in, these are getting outdated i can probably take some action into it i can probably declare some sale you can probably come up with some heavy discount and make sure that i am able to liquidate these inventories before they become completely outdated 
and of no use to me. So therefore, we will be able to take some strategic decisions and uh, planning when we know our numbers in, in time. Break-even point, for example, we look at the break-even point, you know, what is the, if I have really crossed my break-even point, I, my sales are enough, my contribution is enough to cover my fixed cost and I have gone beyond that, then definitely I know that now I am in profit. The more sale I do, the more profit I will make. Probably I will make some strategic call in my sales strategy. So assess your numbers based on the numbers, numbers and the position that you are in. You will be able to take some strategic decisions, some planning. Look at as a... Um, uh, do something about it, stitch in time. But we got to first organize our numbers in a clear reporting format. You know, the number you have to organize in a way that we understand them because only then we will be able to analyze our number. So again, this is extremely important uh, aspect of uh, the whole, uh, this webinar. Then how do we use these numbers? So we got to first analyze the number. So how do we start analyzing? You know, what are the numbers? Let's say the sales or for that matter, expenses, the profits. Is my sale going up or am I getting stagnated or is it going down? I got to analyze, right? The number is my expenses going up. If it is, then which is the expense which is going up? Is it my employee cost or my marketing cost or my finance cost? And if they are going up without corresponding increase in sales, then probably there is a danger. I got to do something about it. I got to get to the depth of it that why expenses are going up without corresponding increase in the same. Is it a part of some specific strategy or is it just going out of my control? These are the numbers when you get, you will be able to analyze and then you will understand your business much better, right? It will give you a sort of direction of your, to your business that in what direction your business is going. Some businesses, in fact, now most of the businesses have multiple revenue streams, right? For example, if you are an automobile dealer, you have revenue coming from sale of cars, but large part of your revenue comes from your workshop. You have revenue coming from your sale of accessories, right? And also from maybe finance activity. So there are multiple streams from where a business is able to generate revenue. And we call that segmental reports. So let's get some numbers which tells you that from car sale, I'm getting this sale from workshop and from other streams. And when you collate these numbers, these are the sales, these are the expenses, these are the profit. I would be more in understand my business better. That from where is my profit coming? And during the year, if I start tracking these numbers, of course, I will know that which stream is doing better, where I should focus more on and which is the area which uh, is lagging me behind where I need more energy, more focus. So segmental reports. The last one again here is you have budgeted, let's say you one crore of sale we talked about. This is my goal. This is my forecast for the year. Then I also have forecast for my expenses and forecast for my profits. So I have a clear financial budget set at the beginning of the year. And once I have that, I will always keep comparing these budgeted numbers with the actual numbers so that I can get the variance. What is the variance and how, why are the variance? Where am I going? Where did I go wrong in forecast? Are these variance positive or is the negative? So the whole point is when you start analyzing your financial numbers in your business, you will be able to, number one, understand your business better. And number two, can do something about it. Take informed decision, take decision which is for the benefit going forward. So that's about analyzing my financials. Uh, then we have ratios. When we talk about analysis, we talk about the ratios. Now there are various kinds of ratios and we are not talking about the ratios, but let me tell you there are various kinds of ratios the ratio of your um, expenses to sales, the ratio of your gross margin, you know, which is efficiency ratio is how efficiently I'm running my business. What are my profit margins? The ratio of gross profit to the sales, the net profit to the sales, the cash profit to the sales. 
and then there are working capital ratios there are debt equity ratios and every ratio has a certain meaning and we have we will understand our business better if we regularly keep tracking i mean i'm not asking uh, small business owners to the get, get to the depth of and you know be busy in analyzing and, and ratios and, and what i'm asking is having regards to the size of your business it is important for you to track and measure your numbers with reasonable regularity because when you measure your number you will be able to take some decision and you will be able to only after that improve your numbers end of the day we all want to improve our numbers right we want to have more better sale better profit reduced cost focus on the areas which gives me more profit etc so this will be able to we will be able to understand our business better a very important aspect also is about my trend how did how am i performing vis-a-vis last month how my business is performing vis-a-vis last year so i see a sort of trend in my business am i getting stagnated or am i on the upward trend right so again very important how do i i get to know the direction of my business and we know we say that the direction determines destination the direction determines destination so we know in which direction my business is going so eventually i will reach to this particular destination i will also get an opportunity to compare my numbers with the peers the competitors sometimes we do get uh, we do not get these numbers of competitors but nowadays we do get numbers of the competitors also right on the uh, lot of them are on the public domain lot of them we can get numbers from uh, the platforms and we know what is my industry trend if i am not doing well is it only my company not being doing well and my other competitors or the industry in which i am is doing well if i am in chemical other chemical companies are doing very well but i am not doing that very well so there is no nothing wrong with the sector but there is something wrong with my own business isn't it sometimes it is the other way around also the industry or the sector itself is very dull and that is one of the reason why your business is also not doing well so when you know your performance vis-a-vis the performance of the industry or the sector that you are in you know you know that you know where okay why why is it happening to you is there something wrong in your company or the sector is not performing well or the economy as a whole is is under uh, a downturn but so by knowing this it's you will be able to you know get a more uh, control over your business the fourth benefit is the team motivation <clears throat> of course it's not that you know we have to start declaring our numbers financial numbers i understand they are pretty sensitive and we do not want to start declaring our numbers to uh, the, the everyone in the team but there are certain certain parameters which we can always have uh, you know shared with the team so that everyone understand where are we going if not the entire team at least the the managers or the leadership team or the main people in your company and as i said earlier the greatest motivation for a human being is progress so when you want to motivate someone when they know that we are progressing in a certain direction we are, we are progressing at certain pace that will give them the highest motivation right for example when if you you know on a personal note you you join a guitar class you want always wanted to join guitar class but when you actually join guitar class go to the class and when you know when you start playing your first tune you know you know that you have progressed and that gives you a lot of motivation that gives you motivation to learn the second tune then the third tune so that progress when you know that i am progressing in the right direction it gives you a lot of motivation now when when you discuss with your team about these specific parameters you will understand the performance of individual members let's say some people are doing very well in sales so that when you can if you are able to track numbers on your on your team you know, the sales team or the marketing team we can know individual performances whether they are performing well so rather than getting to know at the year end you will be able to you know have a one on one discussion or a team discussion that you know who is doing well 
or who is not doing well and what needs to be done. So you can fix issues over there uh, when you know the performance indicators of individual team or also as well as departments. A certain department may be doing very well and a certain department not doing well. So when you know through these indications, you can do something about it. You can have the discussion with them. In the team meetings, you know, as we said that we got to know, are we ahead of targets? If you are ahead of target, let's say you have, we have one crore of uh, goal and by June end, instead of 25 lakhs, we are at 35 lakhs. Congratulations. Your, your company is doing very well. You deserve a pat on the back and you deserve to celebrate every small win. Your team is doing right. They are on the right track and you must celebrate with them. Continue doing what you are doing so that you will eventually surpass your goals. Now, if you are lagging behind, that's a cause of worry. Something is wrong, right? You've got to fix the issue that is wrong. You've got to sit together with your team and understand what are these numbers which are not going as per your forecast. Why are you lagging behind? Which is the strategy which is not working? And it is absolutely fine. I mean, this is business. You know, we will... Sometimes we will exceed our target. Sometimes we will be behind our targets. But it is important to keep knowing, keep understanding where we are heading. And when the numbers are lagging behind, when the, when the team may not be able to performing well, sit with them, give them support, give them motivation, do a strategy with them, do planning with them and approach your business with more action, more efforts, you know, better planning. So it is all about once you know the numbers, you can sit with your team and you can brainstorm, discuss and see, okay, this is where we are, how we can now move forward from here on. And friends, the last point, the last benefit that we can get is we get better control of our business. The biggest problem I have seen in my experience with interacting with the business owners is that they get too tied up in their business, in their day-to-day -day activities. They are too busy in, you know, firefighting and they get no time to look at their business from a vintage point. Jim Rohn says that, you know, it's not poor working habits, but it's poor thinking habit that keeps most people not successful. What is important today is to, yes, we are very hard workers, but we got to think hard. We got to think strategic in our business. Right. And when you think strategic, when you think with the planning, you will be able to understand your business better. You will be able to get a better grip on your business. You will be able to approach your business with more confidence. And, you know, you will be more in the driver's seat. And when you are in the driver's seat, you know, you will be able to navigate your business better. With more confidence, it shows up. <coughs> it shows up in your in your personality, in your communication, in your meeting with your customers, that this is a guy who is more confident. He's sure about himself. He's sure about where his, biz his business and, you know, that will show up in your uh, personality. And take me from me. People like to do business with people who are more confident, who are more confident about their own business. So as we say, ignorance is not bliss. Let's change that sen sentence. Ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is will give you weakness, right? So be a person of more confidence, of more surety, of um, more in control. So these are the five benefits, friends, we can get if we start measuring your numbers with reasonable regularity. And if you measure, you will be able to improve your numbers. And what are these uh, five benefits? We can go over them very quickly. Assess your position. Where are you? What, where are you and what is, what is the gap that you need to fill up? Second, once you have the number, you can take some timely action. A stitch in time saves nine. Then we can do the analysis, the ratios and the trends that all we got to analyze and understand the direction of your business. The fourth one is we'll be able to sit with our team and motivate our team where our business is heading. And the last one is we get better control, better grip of our business. Let me end by saying that the Jack Ma said, today is difficult, tomorrow is more difficult, but day after tomorrow is 
day after tomorrow is beautiful most people die tomorrow evening and why because they have not been tracking they have not been tracking their progress they do not know that just that one last night and the day after tomorrow is going to be beautiful so i encourage all the business owners entrepreneurs startups to measure the progress of their numbers because what gets measured gets improved i would like to thank scms and all the organization committee members including muskan arpita sakshi for giving me this wonderful opportunity to express my views on this topic and um, if there are any questions i'll be happy to uh, take them muskan yes sir so thank you so much for sharing us your knowledge and it was really a very great session i hope our audience learned very very many new things from this session and once again i would like to thank you so much for joining us sharing your experience giving your time and knowledge with us uh, sir there are few questions which our audience want answer so shall i proceed sure please thank you we can proceed ah uh, yes sir uh, sir you have said that how uh, measurement helps in the improvement right uh, so sir there might be some challenges and drawback in this uh, uh, so what are the challenges for small business owners the challenge is to capture the numbers what i have seen is that is uh, how do you capture this numbers you know how do you get this numbers from the your business and i think it is just a question of mindset we don't need to get into too much of details if if we don't have to but you as a business owner decide what are the numbers which are important for you in your business what are the numbers if you get them you will be able to take more informed decision about your business so depending on the stage of your business size of your business complexity of your business you decide which numbers are important and um, track these numbers you have to find a way out to it's not very difficult you can always uh, uh, capture or uh, you know dig out these numbers from your business and these are not very like very complicated numbers you can do do have at the back of your mind because you are doing business but i'm just saying is be make it more structured format so that you know you have a system whereby you are regularly tracking and that will help you in uh, taking the business decisions drawbacks i don't see any drawback because uh, not capturing the numbers is the biggest drawback so let us start tracking these numbers measuring these numbers which has a lot of uh, uh, positives yeah and sir there is one more, one more question uh, sir this concept how it can be applied in the personal habit or in the behavior change fantastic of a question. person fantastic question let us say let us say i am 80 kgs and my target is to you know uh, reduce my weight to 70 kgs just an example in a one year time so i am sitting here in may i am saying by next, next april i should be 70 kgs now there is one way of approaching is this okay i am doing something now i'll figure out in la- next march after 10 months oh i am still 79 kgs because i haven't tracked i am just doing something but i haven't tracked now in one month can i reduce 10 kgs clear answer is no when you have when you want to you know reduce your weight by 10 kgs that means that every month you got to approximately you know uh, reduce your weight by 1 kg so you keep tracking your uh, health your uh, your weight and uh, if it is not reducing by 1 kg a month that means you are not going to hit the target so this is a concept which applies in business and which will apply in all areas of our life it's just that you know it, again as i say it's a mindset once you apply your mind you will be you will figure out that i mean this is very simple this is what i need to do and just track the numbers with reasonable regularity yeah thank you so much sir for answering this question it was very effective for our audience and that was very good piece of advice again thank you all for attending today's webinar and if you have any additional question you can contact us through email or phone we are happy to provide you our support stay connected for new learnings so i am uskan kumari your host for the day today's event is shining off have a wonderful day thank you everyone for joining us thank you sir thank you very much thank you very much thank you